Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Spanish for Kiddos podcast, where you can listen to fun bilingual stories and more. My name is Barbara. I'm the owner and fan of Spanish for Kiddos and your host for this summer reading camp. I'll be sharing fun bilingual stories throughout the summer to encourage the kiddos to read whether you're at the pool, the beach, or camping. So let's have fun. In this bilingual story called Ocean Life Bilingual Story, La Vida del Océano Cuente Bilingüe, I think it's a great and refreshing way to start thinking about bilingual reading during the summer. And it talks about a little bit more into deep details about ocean life and marine life. So I think it's a great way to introduce that to the kiddos. So let's get started. Splash, splash, dolphins swim in the ocean. They like the water. Dolphins eat fish and other marine organisms. Splash, splash, los delfines nadan en el océano. A ellos les gusta el agua. Los delfines comen pescado y otros organismos marinos. Sea turtles go to the beach. They lay their eggs on the sand. Then the sea turtles return to the ocean. Las tortugas de mar van a la playa. Ellas ponen sus huevos en la arena. Entonces las tortugas de mar regresan al océano. Deep in the ocean, you find seahorses and clownfish. They eat small marine organisms too. En lo profundo del océano, puedes encontrar caballitos de mar y peces anémonas. Ellos también comen pequeños organismos marinos. The other sea animal that lives in the ocean is the whale. Whales are huge sea animals. They need to eat a variety of marine organisms. El otro animal de mar que vive en el océano es la ballena. Las ballenas son animales de mar enormes. Ellas necesitan comer una variedad de organismos marinos. Wow, there are many sea organisms that live deeper in the ocean. There's an octopus and more fish. Wow, hay muchos organismos de mar que viven más profundo en el océano. Hay un pulpo y más peces. Sometimes you find jellyfish and crabs in the sea. The ocean life is amazing. Algunas veces encuentras medusas y cangrejos en el mar. La vida del océano es maravillosa. The end. El fin. And then towards the end, there's actually a cute practice that you can do. There's a lot of sea animal names. Of course, there's lots of them that you can learn about. There's a lot of terms. And as a matter of fact, it's not just only these right here. There's actually more. If you want to check out our Ocean Live blog post that I have at SpanishForKiddos.com forward slash blog, you can do that as well. And there's a cute um, little activity, a little match in there that you can do going back to the text and looking for those specific words of ocean life. And I think that's a great way to do that. Make sure to check out our summer reading challenge that actually includes this free printable along with other fun prizes and other fun activities that we'll be doing over the summer. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode. There's other fun activities that you can check out our SpanishForKiddos.com blog and our shop, of course. Please join me another time for another fun bilingual story in English and Spanish. Thank you so much for listening to the Spanish for Kiddos podcast and have a wonderful day. <laughs>